How's it going Creepers? My name is JJ and welcome back to another video. In this video it's a small tutorial on how I have my settings set up. I have uh, how the effects that I use, uh, the rendering settings, the project settings, etc, etc. To show you how, I become how I've come across the 1080p with the video size that I use. Now, let's get right into it because there's a lot to cover here and I want to make sure it's as short as physically fucking possible because I've already recorded this once. Prior to me fixing my MP4 issue, I don't care. Fuck off. Alright, let's get to it. So first things first, you're going to open up Sony Vegas, and you're going to be presented with sim a screen similar to this. Now, in most case scenarios, what you're probably going to end up seeing is there is another another um, section that's probably opened up for you. It's called the uh, the uh, the master bus, which is this little, um, this little bus here, which basically allows you to control the volume. I... Get rid of that because I don't use it myself, but that's generally what I, um, this is generally the setting, the uh, layout of the actual program itself of whenever I use it. I like to have the video up here. Um, whenever I'm editing itself, I do tend to have it on preview auto though because it makes it so that the frame rate doesn't drop while it's playing in the actual timeline itself. Um, However, if I'm overviewing it to make sure that there is no issues, then I have it on best auto or best full because my video card and my CPU can, they can support that. They can fully support um, playback in terms of best so that it's well, in most case scenarios because the processing itself does take into effect um, real time at that point. So. Moving on from there, uh, what you're going to first do is when you first open up the project, um, just a blank project, nothing added on, what you're going to do is you're going to go over here, um, where it says the there's a gear, there's uh, the video preview on external monitor, there's the video output, split screen, best full, etc, etc. If you click on video or project video properties, um, open that up and you'll be presented with this. Um, I have special settings set up so that, because it's the way I like to have my personal project set up, because this is, when it comes to video editing, what you're going to find is that no one setting is going to be the best. You're going to have multiple settings, or you're going to have your own specialized setting for your own personal preference. That's a very common practice. It's an art form, video editing, much like um, writing, painting, uh, voice acting, all of those are a, it's a form of an art. So you're going to have your own special settings and you got to keep that in mind. You can base it off, you can use your settings based off mine, or you can have it set up. So that's exactly like mine, but you don't have to have it this way. You can, but you don't have to. Now, moving on from there, um, these are my settings. I usually end up clicking on the drop down here and starting with, uh, either, HD 1080p with um, 24, 24p, um, or I usually end up HDV, which is uh, either 1080 24p. That's what I usually start out with, mainly because everything else is um, uh, 4x3 or lower end 16x9s. Uh, if you don't know what that is, I would look it up because there is a lot more to video editing than just placing, cutting, saving and rendering there's a lot more to it and you got to keep that in mind when you're doing it i've been doing this for several years and i know i know what kind of effort goes into this um but these are my settings here i usually start it with one of those settings and then i base it off of that so my width and height are going to be 19 20 by 1080 that's currently the best i want to do because i don't feel as though there's a reason i have anything more than that um under field order none progressive scan because the rendering capability that I'd be using is under MP4. If you use an AVI or WMV, which is a Windows-based format, um, you can choose the field order to be upper or lower if you want to. I like to have it under non-progressive scan because it converts the video over from interlace to progressive. Uh, pixel, pixel, act, pixel, pixel, pixel aspect ratio will be square. Anything else will just cause your video to stretch out and the pixels themselves to be stretched out. There's really no point in doing that. It just causes a lot of complications later on. We aren't touching the rotation because the video itself is going to be 1920 by 1080, which is uh, 1920 width and 1080 height. 
Um, now, if you do decide that you have a video that you want to possibly set up so that it's on a vertical screen, uh, because some, some people do actually do that, uh, if you do want to do that, you can have these switched around so that this and this, um, it, it has a, a, a vertical pattern instead of a horizontal. But in this case scenario, what we're going to do is we're just going to base it off of a YouTube video. Uh, which in case, most case scenarios, you don't, there is situations where you might use the other way around, the vertical. But don't. And we're just doing the basics right now. Uh, frame rate is going to be 59.94, double NTSC, because that's 60 FPS. 60 frames per second. Uh, if you aren't well versed in the lingo in terms of video editing, do some refresher, find out certain things about video editing, and then uh, take it from there. But it is a learning process. I'm still learning, and I've been at this for several years. Uh, stereoscopic, no, we're not doing dealing with 3D, so you can leave that off. That'll all be grayed out. Pixel format, 8-bit versus 32-bit. I find that 8-bit is easier for me to handle because I personally like to manually adjust the... The actual quality, I adjust the sharpness, uh, the color codes, the um, the hex values, everything a part of the, the actual video format itself, I manually adjust, but that's just me. If you want the full range, I can show you the comparison later on in the video, but that's besides the point. Uh, I personally have it set to 8-bit. You can have 32-bit if you want to. There's really only... The, the only difference is the fact that the video file size will be... It will be slightly more than what um, 8-bit offers because it's also offering a full range in terms of the color codes. Uh, moving on from there, comps get them at com the gamma will be 2.22 as default from here. View transform is going to be off. Full resolution rendering quality, of course, is going to be best. You don't want it to be giraffe because that'll be crap. <laughs> you really want it to be best. The best possible quality ever. Motion blur type will be Gaussian because Pyramid and Box don't really have any too much difference, uh, difference there. And I don't use asymmetric because I just like to be, keep it simple. Um, basically what it does is that if there's a fast moving clip, uh, it'll just basically... The motion blur itself will just be the Gaussian, uh, Gaussian blur type. Uh, Deinterlace method will be blend the fields. Um, you can try if you wanted to the other options there. I just keep it at blend fields because it, um, it's a nice smooth transition. Resampling mode. Don't know why it's adjusted, because it's probably outdated, but I keep the resampling disabled. Always, 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 always. Um, what it does is basically that between, um, in the matter of three frames, uh, there's the one base frame and the ending frame, and that middle frame that's between those two frame, um, those two frames there, it basically smooth, not, I wouldn't say smoothens it, but it combines the two and kind of tries to flow through into the next frame. So there's like a um, a secondary frame that, that 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 it's slightly blurred, and I don't have um I don't have the ability to show you exactly what I mean about like that because every video that I've made so far on this new computer, well, new is relative, but still, every uh, video that I have on me at the moment. Uh, as far as I can tell, we'll we'll take a look and if we can later, but it basically it's it's already been disabled. Um, adjust source media, yes, do that because you want to make sure that the source media that you're in, uh, importing to the project itself has um, at least has a similar or at least close to the uh, project settings that you have here. Uh, you'll see what I mean by that in a second. Um, click on start all new projects, but first go to audio. Under audio, you'll have stereo, unless you're working with surround, which I highly doubt with Vegas, but you can use it. Uh, stereo buses, you can leave zero. Sample rate's going to be the highest possible rate because you want to make sure that you're hearing exactly what, um, what you want to hear at the end of it. Um, bit depth will be 24, and the quality or the resample quality will be best. Uh, that basically means if you stretch it out or if you're, uh, if you like copy and paste it and such, it'll just be the um, it'll be the best possible quality you can.